Yo, what's up guys, I never watched Ted. And if you love Ted and you need more Ted in your life, then get this video to 15,000 likes. Go to the Patreon for the uncut recording and also exclusive content you can't find anywhere else and click subscribe so Ted can sleep tonight. Oh, oh f Clive, two o'clock. He follows you in there, you're a dead man. Is Clive supposed to be like a bad boy? Like that's like the most old man f character ever. Well, this takes place in like the 90s, right? So. My name's Clive. You take all the time you need to. I won't judge. <sighs> He's looking him directly in the eye. That is confidence like a grown man wouldn't have. Like as a normal man, you're not looking at another guy's eyes. That is all the thanks I need. Wait. Jesus? <laughs> Jesus! He gave him the piss strength. He solved his pee shyness. You wouldn't want to swear. <laughs> yeah! Nice going, Bennett. Pee much? Oh, it's in the shape of a dick. <laughs> Drink up, oh, Wait, no, not the toilet. I'm not supposed to get wet. It said so on my tag. <laughs> I saw this article that said that Seth MacFarlane actually did motion tracking for all of Ted's movements. Do you think he actually got a swirly for the show? He wanted it to be authentic. He wanted it to be realistic as possible. He says you're overdue for a colonoscopy. Not all Jewish doctors are smart, Susan. Some of them Hebrews are just in it for the money. Hebrews! Some of them Hebrews. Get Kanye off the mic. Get Kanye off the Who hired him? Is it Muriel's son, Clyde? I don't know, is Muriel's son a sadistic steroid bully with a pee fish? He doesn't have a father. The way Ted speaks is kind of like how Stewie speaks, but everyone can understand him. Because Ted is always saying the most out-of-pocket shit, and they don't react that, like, crazy to it. They're so used to it. Clive, this is your father. What? This is a classic childhood move. Did you guys ever do prank calls? No, I never did. The Jehovah's Witnesses didn't like to prank call? Our prank call was spreading the good word, bro. You know, I fought in the war. Whoa. Which one? You got that right, my friend. Every war. Every f***ing war. <laughs> Ted has so much more intelligence than any of these teenagers he's taken advantage. This is too much. Can't wait to meet you. Yeah, get those hopes sky high, buddy. I love you. <laughs> Cutting it off right as he's saying I love you is a beautiful. Okay, this isn't that f***ed up because they literally flushed Ted down the toilet. Like, he was in the sewage system, like, like a day ago. Look. Ahoy. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Is he gonna fall for it? I need you to deliver a message to one of your customers. Dumb looking guy dressed like an idiot. Sir, this is Friendly's. Can you be more specific? <laughs> Her delivery was perfect too. He's glad he left and he likes his adopted Korean kids better. Why would she even say this? Why would you read that? What does she have to gain in this situation? Clive tried to kill himself. Holy shit. He ate an entire bottle of Flintstones vitamins. Even the Bettys. <laughs> Even the Bettys. Those are the strongest ones in the pack. Ted almost drove someone to suicide in episode two of the show. Why'd you leave that message? It was a test. I, I, it was a test. Oh my God. You cried. <laughs> you said you liked your adopted Korean kids better. I don't have them anymore. You don't? I had to, to release them. <laughs> <laughs> They're not Pokemon, bro. He left them in the PC forever, bro. I suck at school. I have a math test tomorrow. I'm probably gonna fail. Oh, come on. This is a very long scene. Why is it still going? How hasn't John taken the phone away from him yet? I've actually been wondering how he did on that test. Me too. They're becoming father figures. They're becoming his dad. Eat a dick, asshole. <laughs> <gasps> he passed. He's excited. <laughs> he wasn't even affected. Like they don't even care anymore. They're just enjoying it. When they put you under, you're not in control. All right, you you, you can say some shit. I don't want anybody to find out my secrets. What are his secrets? I saw part of this episode out of context, and this is uh, he's about to say some fucked up shit. Is it gonna have like a Mel Gibson moment? But you know, Rose got you. But you gotta go with me. Why? Because when they drug me up, if I start saying anything about Vietnam, you gotta make a lot of noise. She has to be in the room? This is so fucked up. Vietnam. Oh my God, what did he do in Vietnam? My birthday's coming up on Saturday and I was wondering if maybe I could see you. They're gonna go to his birthday. Dude, this is sad. Oh, what about this? Sega Genesis. Yeah, I don't know. They're buying him a birthday present. They're buying him a Sega Genesis? Don't buy it. It's going to have a short lifespan. Don't buy it. None of this shit matters anyway, because we only got 20 bucks. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. 
What are we gonna do? Okay, that's good. Let's get ready. <laughs> that looks so funny. I just want Ted to be six feet tall from now on. This is gonna be a problem. <laughs> This looks like the fucking CGI when Scooby Doo is like dancing in that one movie, bro. When Scooby Doo's in the first Scooby Doo movie in the fucking woman outfit. I'm gonna need your parents' phone numbers. My parents are out of town. I don't have parents on account of I'm a teddy bear that came alive. Did the fucking cop actually ask the teddy bear's parents' name? Like, what is he gonna say? Fucking Paddington? Fucking Berenstain Bears. The Berenstain Bears or the Berenstain Bears? Nelson Mandela is the only one who will understand what the true stains are. I really wanted to be an actor. Oh, wow. When I, when I was in my, my 20s, I did this community uh, theater production of Pippin. This is just a recording of his audition for the role. I, I love gaslighting old people. It's my favorite thing to do. Cats fit on the windowsill. Children fit in the snow. Sing a Pippin. Oh, no. Oh, Ted, Ted can't do it. Is he going to break and just tell him to shut up? Yeah. A thousand wows yeah. and more Thank wows you. on top of that. I yeah. feel like this Thank was you. time well spent. This whole episode is them gaslighting and lying to people for their own personal gain. They're so good at just, like, gassing people up. I don't like this. This was a bad idea. Well, you fucking relax. It's gonna be fine. Oh my god. This is gonna be traumatizing for her. Get under the gurney. What? Hide under the gurney. This is so fucked up. Just pay for an apartment. Fuck your stupid uncle. Like, what is this? It's sexual for them. This is not sexual for them. I'll give you $300. Would you guys do this for $300? I'd do this for $0, bro. <laughs> yeah, you just love watching. Jack, sneak me and I will go to your colonoscopy exam, okay? Bro, I'm gonna start fucking talking about the Korean War, bro. I did some crazy shit back then. Yeah. <laughs> His poor wife, huh? I was just <laughs> thinking that. Guys, I gotta be honest. This is for me. That was a Family Guy joke. Oh my god. I need to record my colonoscopy to see what, like the shit talk they're gonna talk about my asshole, bro. Like, I swear to god. What the fuck are we supposed to do now? He thinks his dad's showing up. I don't know. We find somebody to be his dad. They're gonna hire some guy on Craigslist. They're gonna get the security guard. He's an actor! Oh my god. Maddie made me go into the operating room with him, so oh, what the hell? him up if the drugs made him say some shit about Vietnam. Why did he have to make this episode? I have to get a colonoscopy. Why did he have to make this episode? We're your family. Just fucking tell us. I f***ed off a dog! <laughs> is the wife gonna be like, is that why we've never got a dog? <laughs> like, she's wanted a dog their entire marriage. My buddy Donnie and I were about to start the night watch when we noticed... Scout had an erection. Oh, God. Just stop talking. Keep going. No. No. And that's when it happened. He made a noise like a bark, but... Happier. He busted! He busted! He gave the dog post my clarity. For God's sake, somebody say something! You soldiers gave so much. This show is crazy. God bless our troops. They're jacking off the dog so we don't have to, bro. You know, tell me what you want to communicate and then I will interpret it as an actor. The escalation of this plot feels more like something that would happen in South Park. A funny concept like slowly escalating. It's me, son. I've returned. <laughs> this is so weird. This is so immoral. This should be illegal. I like you were saying that and like five seconds ago. We, t we just heard about his father. <laughs> she's a widowed farm owner and she's hired me as a farmhand at her estate. Is that, is he, is that Pippin? He's, he's doing Pippin. He only knows one fucking role. Why did they hire the manic security guard at Target? Mom, look, dad's here. Abort, abort, get the fuck out of there. What are you talking about? Why didn't he see that coming? Run. This is the most shoddy, disorganized production I have ever been a part of. <laughs> That's my Pippin. That's my Pippin right there. You think you can fuck with my head and live? This is the only time he deserves to get beat up. This is actually, it's like fair. What is a dad? It's someone who believes in you. He's actually still trying to be his father. They're trying so hard. You've really turned things around. Your grades are better. You're smiling more. I am. It's working. They rolled 20 and had a charisma buff like every single scene in this fucking episode. What do you say we have some cake? Yeah. And something healthy. <laughs> is this the end of the Clive bully arc? This is what it's like to have two dads. Hey, thanks again for picking us up, Blair. 
<laughs> for some reason, she's driving the car. I just imagine the Canadian PSA where Sheldon crashes the car. I really hope they get into a car crash. Dude, they should do a cameo where they run over Brian in this. They hit a dog. They hit a dog, and it's like realistic, just like the Brian. Oh, yeah, that was weird. Yeah, it's like you want a lid for that water? Nah, that's okay. I'm just riding in the jungle. Oh, hey, can we stop by the video store? I want to rent a movie. Oh, my God. It's so nostalgic, though. Don't you guys love putting Blockbuster out of business by renting movies and then never giving them back? What do you mean? That's how they made their money by charging people up the ass for losing the movies. But what if you didn't pay them and they went bankrupt? We have this thing called a credit score, Jack. You have to pay back your debts. I'm still running. You ever seen a p no? What are they like? Well, you turn it on, you settle in, you get your Kleenex and your lotion, and you, you fucking go to town. What is he going to town on? What is this Barry going to town on? He's pulling out the parsnip, bro. And even though you didn't leave the house, you know you've contributed to a woman's nightmare. What? <laughs> what the fuck? We need the Ted pre-prequel, where it's about Ted's life in Hollywood. They make Ted like Benjamin Button, they just keep going backwards. I would love that. I would love that shit. Us entering the porno store. What the fuck? Me entering my cave. You have a bellhop and a, and a bartender and a butler in your cave. What has been hotel character? Do you want to jack off to today? How's the wife, Lloyd? Well, sir, I'm afraid that Clara passed away last month. There was nothing the doctors could do. Why is there so much backstory? I'm afraid that Jeremy blames me for his mother's death. How terrible. John goes too far with the improv. Like, can we just be honest? This is a cutaway joke. This is an extremely extended cutaway joke. I said no one under 18. It's all right, buddy. It's just me. You came to life in 1985. That makes you what? Eight? What are you, eight? It's like when you're like 17, you get someone else to buy you beer. Like, they're going to get someone <laughs> adult to buy you porn. Uh, Blair. I'm not renting you porn. Blair, I'm already 16. Okay, if I was Mormon, I'd be a grandfather by now. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. <laughs> all right, fine. What? What? I don't have time to stand here all day and argue, okay? Just go wait in the car. Most based cousin? Bro, she's gonna get them, like, wholesome porn, though. She's gonna get them, like, the Peppa Pig of porn, bro. Like, no one wants to see that shit. Whoa, the 400 blows. What the hell is this? Is that the Eiffel Tower, bro? They're about to Eiffel Tower someone. The 400 blows is a real movie? Really? You suck. No, no, but wait, they were talking about ball sacks. Ball sack. Yeah, exactly. So where were they? <laughs> <laughs> There's no s on TV. This is the first time Seth MacFarlane has written something that didn't have s on TV. He's changing. He's becoming an adult. It's stuck. They can only watch the 400 blows. Oh, wait. No, are they going to put real in and it gets stuck? Oh, <laughs> you need to stop guessing everything in this show, Core. Okay, this is perfect. Mom and dad are going to be out of the house and Blair's got school. There will never be a better time. For what? For us to j off together like the Beatles? You're gonna j off with your teddy bear beside you? I guess that's how they had to do it in the old days. Like, you had a TV in the living room, you got all the mates together, and you put that shit in. God, I was born in the wrong generation, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Enjoy your new lives as adults. Ted stuck a little bit of work. I, I can't use this. Why not? It looks like Bob Ross. It is. <laughs> it's Bob Ross. It looks like Bob Ross. Oh my God. What? You're Bob Ross. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a real person. This is like this picture I saw on Twitter the other day of this white woman taking a picture with Snoop Dogg, but it was just some random black dude. Like, how do you do this? Imagine seeing Bob Ross rent porn. Like, that just feels wrong. Isn't this a magical night? My sock's got a big hole in it. If I tear it off, will you shove it in your purse? <laughs> what the hell? It's the least romantic man on the planet. You call your mother and you tell her Susan Bennett from Framingham said you did an excellent job. My mother has advanced Alzheimer's. She has no idea who I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. None of the extras in this show have a filter. This is like what a retail worker would actually want to say. My mother has advanced Alzheimer's. She's got mega Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's wasn't enough. She got ultra timers, bro. Wouldn't it be fun to be a waiter on a cruise ship? Because when you're done, you're already home. Oh my God, this is sad. He doesn't even pay attention to her though. Like I feel bad. I could fix her, bro. I could fix her. Maybe we should watch alone, like in shifts. Yeah, I don't want to watch alone. That feels tragic. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What a word to use, tragic. A nail? Yeah, just before you finished, put that in what's left of your food and then find it. Oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> he's crazy. He's so crazy. Everyone in this family is weird and fucked up in a unique and miserable way. I think he might be the most. Obviously, the dad is the most fucked up. Genital hospital. What the fuck? Oh, he's a doctor. Looks like it's his first day at a new hospital. Why are you commentary? Is he going to narrate everything because they aren't actually going to show it? I'd pay good money to have Seth MacFarlane commentate over every porn. This is like if we just did spill in the milk commentary. Seth, if you're watching this, we'd love to have you on, man. What happened? I don't know. It tape froze. And of course it freezes on the guy making the O face. Not even the girl, dude. They have to off to the Freddie Mercury fucking mustache. This is an older model. You probably can't even fucking find it anymore. Yes, you can. The AV room at school. They got one there. We can go get it tonight. Steal it. They're gonna break into the school of genius. There's a game tonight. The school's open. We dress like basketball players. This dude knows everything about this fucking school, bro. Why is Ted so prepared for every situation? He didn't even want to go to school. Now he knows the school like it's the back of his fucking paw, bro. Ah, there we go. Okay, you stay here. I'm gonna make sure the coach is clear. He's straight balling. Ted is balling right now, and I don't know if my body can handle this right now. I don't know, coach. I think I heard it break. A little ice. Best thing for it. Hey! Oh my god, they're gonna sub him in the basketball game. Ted is like the Jackie Robinson of basketball. He's the first teddy bear to be balling. He's making a big leap for teddy bear kind right now. <laughs> he won! In a perfect world, the rest of the episode is Ted playing basketball. Is that why you wanted to go out to dinner? Because he had a coupon? And I spent no money. A perfect evening. And the activity book. Not the activity book. This is just a perfect documentation of what lead poisoning does to people. <laughs> this is not what she needed, bro. Maybe this is what she needs. Maybe she needs to unwind. A little me time. Oh my god, she's gonna like it. No way, no way. Yes, oh, no. yes, yeah, this woman some pleasure. God. Give her some pleasure for once. You make sure no one's coming. Right. Fuck. Oh shit. It's gone. The mom took the porn. Going to church. She gonna go to confessional? Oh, she is. Dude, I can't believe I used to do this shit as a kid, bro. Church is fucking bonkers, dude. When I went to the confessional, I'm like, bro, I was too lit at school this week. Maddie is your husband. And if one of you is bored in the marriage, then the other may wish to consider how to address that. He's giving her advice. She's going to sex therapy by herself. Is porn gonna save their marriage? Porn saved the marriage. Going is going to kill John's mom. Can we talk about this, chat? and killed my mother. No! She knows I watched porn. Oh boy, it looks that way. I can never face her again. We have to run away, never to return. <laughs> never to return. What you watching? High Plains Drifter. It's Clint Eastwood week. Oh. What's it about? Oh my God. Is she coming on to him? This is hot. Can we talk about that movie that you were watching yesterday? I can't remember what it was. Oh my God. She thinks it's him. I'm just a girl. Oh my God. She's going to eat the banana. What? I've been bad. What do you mean you've been bad? You... Oh, Jesus Christ, Susan, is that the last one? Oh, my <laughs> God. Let him eat his bananas. Why are you taking my boy's bananas like that? Yeah? Aunt Suze, what's up? Don't ask her for fucking s advice. I guess who else was she going to turn to? The fucking priest? I don't know, Ted. The tape you found... It's mine. No shot. Damn, she took the heat. Blair is like the best cousin ever, bro. She's just trying to preserve that free rent. I hope one day you'll find your Maddie. Ew, no. ew, ew, ew. She just has to go to the fucking dog park to find her Maddie. Jesus Christ. Ew. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> they just got a can of beans. No <laughs> way Ted can play the harmonica. You saw he was balling earlier. He's a man of many talents. Good lord, look how you've grown. How'd you find us? Uh, harmonica music really carries. <laughs> what? <laughs> the actor was pissed that was the reason that she found it. Like, she was actually pissed off that was the, the canonical reason. I would never watch again. Even if it was everywhere, all the time. 
Even if I had like a weird little device in my pocket that would give it to me whenever I wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Aeromir, Alzheimer's is a bad disease. We should cure it. Atomic Leon, Bento, Kane Rivers, Calm Luke, Cosmic Dega, Crystal X Bunny, Frozen Spaghetti, G3 Om, Gov, Stargazer, Gioni Snare, Yorison, Helio, Hunter Pearson, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, Jace LaRue, K99, Kamui, Lilac Moon, Miric55, Native5, Omega Waffles by the way, Patrick Case Randolph, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Sean City Navy Gaming, Tieran Stills, Trinity Martin, Val Explicit, Victoria, Wyatt Lime. Thank you guys so much.